ever wondered if you could eat your way thin? And no, we're not talking about the celery diet, folks. We're talking about a revolutionary approach to eating that's taking the world by storm. Intermittent fasting. Now, before you start imagining days of starvation, let's clear the air. Intermittent fasting, or IF for short, isn't about not eating. It's about when you eat. The idea is simple. You cycle between periods of eating and fasting within a 24-hour period. But here's the kicker. What you eat during your feasting window matters a lot. You see, to get the most out of your IF journey, proper nutrition is crucial. And that doesn't mean binging on donuts because you've been fasting. So, if you're ready to eat your way to a slimmer you, buckle up and let's dive right in. Okay, so you're probably thinking, wait, fasting? Isn't that just starving? Not quite, my friend. Let's dive into the basics of intermittent fasting, or IF, as the cool kids call it. Imagine your day as a 24-hour diner. In IF, we alternate between times when the kitchen is open and when it's closed. A popular method is the 16-8 approach. That's 16 hours of keeping the kitchen closed. No cooking, no snacking, and an 8-hour window when you can feast. But here's the catch. Just because the kitchen's open doesn't mean it's a free-for-all. It's crucial to choose your foods wisely to make the most of your eating window. And before you jump into this new eating pattern, don't forget to consult your doctor, especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions. We want this to be a healthy change, not a risky experiment. And remember folks, always consult your doctor before trying new diets. We don't want anyone passing out from hunger now, do we? If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. Alright, let's talk about food, because let's face it, we all love food, right? But what should we eat during our eating window? Well, that's a question that's been marinating in our minds, so let's get into it. First up, the MVPs of our dietary lineup, nutrient-dense foods. Now these aren't just your run-of-the-mill edibles. They're the superstars that pack a punch with a high concentration of vitamins, minerals, and other health-boosting goodies. Think of them as the superheroes of the food universe, swooping in to save the day during your eating window. Next on the plate, we have fruits and vegetables. These colorful characters aren't just there for their good looks. They're loaded with vitamins, minerals, and fiber, providing a smorgasbord of health benefits. So, whether you're a fan of the zesty tang of citrus or the sweet crunch of apples, remember to paint your plate with all the colors of the fruit and veggie rainbow. Now, let's not forget about protein. This nutrient is like the building blocks for your body, helping to build and repair tissues, not to mention it's a key player in muscle building. Lean protein sources like fish, chicken, and legumes are your best bet. They're like the gym buddies who spot you during your heavyweight sessions, helping you build that muscle and keep you feeling satisfied for longer. And finally, we have healthy fats. Yes, you heard that right. Not all fats are the bad guys. Some, like those found in avocados, nuts, and seeds, play a vital role in keeping you feeling full and providing essential nutrients. So think of them as the friendly fats, the ones that have your back when hunger pangs strike. But it's not just about what you eat, it's also about how you eat. Balance is key here. You wouldn't want to fill your plate with just one type of food, right? That would be like going to a party and only talking to one person all night. Boring. Instead, aim for a medley of these nutrient powerhouses, for a well-rounded meal that keeps things exciting. And remember, portion sizes matter too. You might be thinking, hey, these are healthy foods. I can have as much as I want, but hold your horses. Even too much of a good thing can be bad. So keep an eye on those portion sizes, folks. So remember folks, feast on good food during your eating window. Your body will thank you. And when it comes to food, always remember this golden rule, quality over quantity. Choose foods that nourish your body and you'll be well on your way to making the most out of your intermittent fasting journey because at the end of the day, it's not just about losing weight, it's about gaining health. And that, my friends, is worth feasting on. Now, we all have foods that we love, but probably shouldn't. Looking at you, double fudge brownies, it's like a siren song, isn't it? But when it comes to intermittent fasting, there are some foods that are more like a Trojan horse, promising sweetness and satisfaction, but delivering a bellyache of problems. 
First off, let's talk about added sugars and sugary drinks. Sure, they taste like a party in your mouth, but they're actually crashing the weight loss party. They cause blood sugar spikes that can lead to energy crashes and cravings. It's like riding a roller coaster, and not the fun kind. More like the kind that leaves you feeling dizzy and a little sick. So, let's ditch the soda, say no to the donuts, and break up with the candy bars. Next up, refined carbohydrates. These are your white breads, pastries, and anything made with white flour. They might seem innocent, but they're quickly digested and can lead to blood sugar dips and increased hunger. It's like they're playing a cruel game of hide and seek with your satiety. You think you're full, and then, surprise, you're hungry again. And speaking of deceptive foods, let's not forget about highly processed ones. They often come disguised in pretty packages, promising convenience and flavor. But beneath the surface, they're usually low in nutrients and high in unhealthy fats, sodium, and sugar. They're like that bad boy or girl in high school. Sure, they're exciting, but they're not going to do your health or your waistline any favors. So, what's the takeaway here? While it's okay to indulge occasionally, it's essential to limit these foods if you want to make the most of your intermittent fasting journey. Think of them like that catchy pop song on the radio. It's fun to listen to now and then, but if it's on repeat all day, every day, not so much. So folks, let's try to say no to the naughty foods, or at least not all the time. Let's make choices that nourish our bodies, satisfy our cravings, and support our health and weight loss goals. After all, we're not just fasting, we're feasting on the good stuff. So, you've decided to give intermittent fasting a shot. Great, but how can you make it work for you? Let's dive right into it. First up, meal planning. Now, I know what you're thinking. Planning sounds like a lot of work, but trust me, it's worth the effort. Having a meal plan helps you ensure you're getting all the nutrients you need during your eating window. It's like having a roadmap to the land of healthy eating. And we all know how important roadmaps are, right? Without them, we'd all be lost, wandering aimlessly in the wilderness of junk food. Next, let's talk about hydration. During your fasting window, your body is in a state of repair and detoxification, and water plays a crucial role in these processes. So don't forget to drink plenty of water, even when you're not eating. Think of water as your secret weapon in the battle of the bulge, it keeps you hydrated, aids digestion, and can even help curb those pesky hunger pangs. Finally, let's touch on the concept of intuitive eating. This is all about listening to your body, eating when you're genuinely hungry and stopping when you're comfortably full. It's not about eating because the clock says it's time to eat. It's about eating because your body says it's time to eat. Remember, your body is smarter than you think. It knows what it needs and when it needs it. But of course, this doesn't mean you should ignore your eating window completely. It's there for a reason. It's just that within that window, you should let your body, not the clock, dictate when you eat. So there you have it. Three simple yet effective strategies to make intermittent fasting work for you. Meal planning, hydration, and intuitive eating. Implement these, and you'll be well on your way to a healthier, happier you. Remember folks, it's not just about when you eat, but how you eat. Listen to your body and stay hydrated. Okay, we're almost at the end of our food journey. But before we wrap up, let's summarize. Intermittent fasting is all about timing, but what you choose to munch on during your eating window is crucial too. Fuel your body with nutrient-dense foods. Think colorful fruits and veggies, lean protein and healthy fats. These powerhouses will keep you satiated and nourished, but remember, not all foods are created equal. Try to limit sugar-laden drinks and foods, refined carbs, and highly processed foods. They might seem tempting, but they're not doing your waistline or health any favors. And of course, always listen to your body and stay hydrated. Intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all, so be sure to consult your doctor or a dietitian to tailor it to your needs. And there you have it, folks, your guide to eating your thin with intermittent fasting. Now, go forth and feast, wisely. And before you go, if you found value in this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on our future episodes. Let's continue this amazing food journey together. Until next time, folks.